What's going on everybody? My name is Tomas and in this video I'm going to talk a little bit about Time Machine and freeing up some space on your time capsule or if you have an external hard drive connected to your Airport Extreme. Um, this is a good way to go about freeing up some of that, that disk space. Let's say I've had some, some issues before uh, where out the Time Machine didn't manage the disk space very well and I had to go in and manually uh, free up some space in there. Without further ado, let's get started. So let's go ahead and enter Time Machine now. And here I have uh, multiple backups. Let's take a look on the side here that are grayed out. They look like this. Uh, that's to say that either you have another disk that you're using that's not connected or you upgraded your system in some way. Sometimes um, if you change hard drive setups, let's say you go from a single hard drive setup to a RAID or um, core storage volume, they will also be grayed out here. These, these gray ones are local snapshots. I'm not gonna go into detail, but I will leave a link if you wanna inform yourself about local snapshots uh, in the description of this video. So let's go about the easy way um, of deleting a backup. And I'll also show you another way through terminal how to delete a, a specific backup. So every backup has a finder window to where you can restore from. You can restore this desktop or restore to a certain location. Uh, that's to say we are on the desktop. I have a path here. Let's go ahead and delete this backup. You can undo this action. So just be aware of what backups you're actually deleting. It's going to prompt you for your password. And then we want to return to the desktop so we can actually watch this execute. So it's going to take a little bit. Uh, while that's running, let's go ahead and mount my time machine drive so we can take a look. Now we're going to go ahead and free up some space. Time Machine does a pretty good job of freeing it up, um, but we want to we want to go ahead and compress this stuff ourselves. From here, I want to launch Terminal, and that's by hitting Command Space and activating Spotlight. So from here, I'm going to blow this up so we can all see what's going on. We're going to need to get the path, but before we do this, because we entered Time Machine before, we need to eject this Time Machine backup before we execute this we can go ahead and start the command uh, sudo hdi util compact and now we need the path to the sparse bundle so to get the path we need to just need to click once highlight it go ahead and right click it copy here we have a sparse bundle path uh, be sure that you have a path because uh, sometimes you may just highlight what the the actual sparse bundle is named and paste it in here so make sure that you have an actual path. Start compacting. It may also prompt you for your password. So just go ahead and wait for this to execute. Uh, through the magic of video, I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up. So now it's finishing that. Um, it did finish. That may take a while. It depends on how large the backup is that you deleted um, or how fast your actual connection is to your time capsule or your uh, airport extreme uh, via your connected hard drive that way. So here we can see that we reclaimed 4.6 megabytes out of 734 gigabytes possible. Okay, now that we've successfully deleted a backup through uh, actually entering Time Machine, let's uh, go ahead and complete this whole process through Terminal. Let's go ahead and launch Terminal. Uh, let me blow this up so you can see what's actually going on. We want to get a list of our backups. Uh, don't worry, all the terminal commands will be located in the description in this video in order that you need to execute them. Um, because it can get a little hairy when you're messing with the sudo command and if you enter something wrong, you can mess something up and I don't want that to happen to you. We need to wait for Time Machine to actually mount and list the backup, so that could take a little bit. Uh, here we can see it's actually done. Now I want to identify which backup I want to delete. I see that I have duplicates here. I have a duplicate here, I have a triplicate here. Uh, from the 26th. I want to delete the one that executed on the 25th, the earlier one. So let's take that, uh, right click it, copy or command C, and from here um, we want to do sudo time machine utility delete. Again, this command will be in the description of this video, and this is a very important part. We need to open this, uh, this path with a single quote and we also need to close it with it. Now command V the path or right click because you can right click and paste in terminal as well. Um, and we need to close it or it won't execute successfully. So let's execute this. It's gonna ask for a verification that we wanna do that. And now it is deleting that backup. 
All right, that executed successfully. So let's run that progress, uh, that process of compacting again. We need to get the path to the sparse bundle. So right click, copy it. And then we want to hit sudo again. The commands will be in the description of the video. HDI util compact. And then I'm going to right click and paste so you can actually see that it can be done that way. And then we want to compact that. Let's execute. Ah, so this is important again. We forgot to eject this. It's not, it's because it's unavailable. It's unavailable. Resource is temporarily unavailable because uh, the actual time machine is mounted. So to address this issue, you may run into, you want to eject this. Okay, now that that's done, we can just hit the up arrow and it'll load our last command that we tried to execute and let's run it again. I'm glad that happened. Now we're going to have to wait for it to reclaim uh, the space and through the magic of video, I'm going to speed it up. All right, so that finished. That backup was 1.5 megabytes um, and then we got a possible 734. That about does it for me this time around, guys. Uh, thanks for taking the time to watch my video. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. In addition, feel free to check out my website. Uh, thanks for watching, and have a great day.